Hey friends, Wickety here, and we are back in Stardew Valley at the Chickadee Farm with a whole lot of stuff to accomplish to finish out the first week. Now I do read all the comments I get on my videos and you will have some great ideas and tips that I just might use on this playthrough. So thank you, keep them coming. I love hearing how you all choose to play your game. And I'm sorry these episodes don't come out as frequently as I'd like them to. I do work full time and I'm a full time mom so I'm working hard on my time management skills right now. I really wish that real life had a level up system too. But I'm gonna do my best to make do with the time that I do have. All right, we are off to Chickadee Farm, day six of spring. First up in the morning, I always check the TV just to see what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. What is our forecast? Looks like partially cloudy with a light breeze and bits of pollen. Good thing we don't have hay fever in this game. All right, what's my fortune for today? The only show where the voices of the spirits is channeled directly to you. <laughs> oh, good humor today. That means golden pyramid. We're gonna be pretty lucky. I'm gonna be shaking all the trees. Sup, Dono Egg. Can't wait until I get a coop for you. All right, first things first, we need to water our plants and uh, uh, just 12 wood. I do need to make a scarecrow because we do have our level one of farming. How much wood do we need? 50, okay, we're, we're not that far away and that's okay. Before we dig into that, let's go ahead and check the mail. Oh, right, today we need to go and visit Razmataz the wizard or Razmodius or whatever you wanna call him. Sounds like he's gonna help us with our rat problem. Okay, what else do we have? Ooh, money from dad. Catching up on his back pay of child support. Thanks for the money, dad. Don't mind that at all. Mmm, Marlin wants us to slay 10 slimes. I think I've already done that so far, but I gotta start fresh today. So we can join the Adventurers Guild and start earning some rewards for our combat goals. Alrighty, let's go ahead and water these plants and get that little extra wood so we can build our scarecrow and then head on down off to meet the wonderful wizard of the tower. <laughs> Alright, that last tree gave us exactly 50, just what we needed to make our first scarecrow. And that gives us 100 gold, sweet! Just need a tin man and a lion too. Wait, does that make me Dorothy or the witch? Anyways, these tree seeds are just a little too close to my crops. I'm gonna grab those real quick. Mostly pine cones. I don't want this area getting too out of hand before I have to clean it all up tomorrow. And let's drop all this stuff off. Bloop, 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 bloop. Bloop. I do also want to head up to the blacksmith today just to see what could be inside of these and see if we can mark anything off of the community center or whatnot. And we'll go ahead and fill up my watering can before tomorrow just because I like to have it ready in the morning. And then grab the extras for the museum and the community center. All right, let's go and meet the wizard. Dog meat. Oh, so cute. Such a good doggo. Oh, yes, I'll get to all that copper later. Ah, this game can be so peaceful and relaxing. All right, you ready? The wizard has the best music in here. Ah, come in. I'm Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred, uh, you get the point. Oh, by all means, wizard, go on. <laughs> and you, Wiggity, the one whose arrival I've long foreseen. 
Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold! Ooh, a summoning circle. Looks like this is something out of Supernatural. A little less dark, though. <laughs> You've seen one before, haven't you? How do you know, you creeper? They call themselves the Junimos. Mysterious spirits, these ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Probably because you have them trapped in the middle of a devil's trap. I'm not sure why they moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written in an unknown language? Most interesting. Stay here. I'm gonna go see for myself. I'll return shortly. BRB. <laughs> and I need that skill. Teach me your ways, wizard. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts from the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. I bet you Linus probably sees the Junimos. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Aha! Come here. Dude, I don't know you, but I sure am thirsty. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss scrub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? It's kind of hard to not smell that. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Okay, I think I'm making some poor life choices right now. Drinking from a cauldron from a stranger. I just met you Who taught you how to cook wizard? Gordon Ramsay would be so disappointed What exactly is moss scrub? Is that FDA approved? What kind of magic is in those mushrooms? By the look of this screen right now, I don't really think they're the legal kind. In any case, this would make a pretty good screensaver. You've gained the power of force magic. You can now decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Yay! Guess drinking that weird forest juice wasn't too bad after all. That means we get to start working on the community center. Yay. All right, ooh, 10 o'clock, man. We are running out of time. Let's check out my skills wallet. All right, that doesn't really put anything into my wallet. We just know how to speak Junimo, I guess. <laughs> we are doing good otherwise. Oh, we've got so much to do. Let's go to town, uh, pick up some seeds, go to the museum and the blacksmith, and we'll say hi to anybody on our way too. It's our oldest friend, Willie, as of a couple of days ago. If the local fishing team was just a bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. Guilt trip much? I'm just one person, Willie. I can only do so much. Move along, people. I got some trash to check. Nothing. Uh, everyone's too close for that one. Go away. We have a Jazz here. Hi. And a Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama said don't talk to strangers. Okay, bye. Oh, and Penny. Such a small town. Oh, we haven't said hi to Sebastian yet. I did just move in. I see him around everywhere. Can't believe I haven't said hey yet. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? 
Well, yeah. Got a free house, my guy. Yeah, it must be the weekend. The town is bustling. I'm feeling the urge to go shopping. Ugh, I wish there was a mall here. Who would work there? There is no one in this town. And Sam's not paying attention to me. That's okay. You catch those Pokemon. Alright, uh... Kinda forgot what I was doing. Oh, right. Let's focus on first things first. We've got a couple of geodes. So we're going to crack those before and then go to the museum and finally start to drop off our first items. I don't have the goods to upgrade anything just yet, but we'll get there. I keep saying that, but... Oh, sup, Lewis. And just so you know, I don't dislike old people. I just have a thing against Lewis. He's kind of shady. All right, time for my geode unboxing video. Got some coal, which is helpful early in. Oh, and we can use that to donate to the museum. So that's great. And that is where I'm off to next for my first time, actually. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. It's nice to see that Gunther has legs. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it's yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. Oh, and I almost forgot I actually don't want to donate this fire quartz. Nope, nope, nope. Save that for a bit. We'll donate that instead. Oh, I don't know if I've said hi to Harvey yet. All right, let's go ahead and donate to the museum. Wait, no, I just said I wasn't going to donate that one. We'll put this one here. First reward. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to hold on to this earth crystal for a little bit. Until I find another one, that is. With our first donation, we get 250 gold. Right. And for the first reward, after five cauliflower seeds. Perfect for spring, exactly what I was wanting. And we still have plenty of time left in the season to get those into the ground. All right, and it is time to head to the community center. It's not one o'clock, so we still have plenty of time to make it to Pierre's before it closes to pick up the seeds for the rest of today. Mm, oh, I forgot to say hi to Harvey in the library. I think I already said hi to him before, but I'll check my list later. What do we have today? Oh, a diamond. <laughs> Good luck with that, Clint. I'll say yes anyways, just in case, because that's a lot of money. Evelyn. Oh, hello, dearie. <laughs> She's so cute. How many people do we have left for our introductions anyways? Uh, eight people. Okay. Not a priority right now. I'll get to that. All right, we're about to finish our very first bundle. Down in the crafts room. We got our horseradish, our daffodil, leek, and a dandelion. Ta-da! I donate because I care, not for the gifts, right? Ah, uh, we'll take the reward anyways. 30 spring seeds. 
Now you can either sell these, but I'm actually gonna plant these so that we have more to make more seeds, to make more money a little bit later, to keep my land tilled until I can plant my next crop. All right, and that opens up the pantry. And what's the other one? Oh, that's right. I think it opens up the fish tank. We can't unlock the boiler room just yet until we get the first bundle in the pantry done. And then we'll push hard for that one. Got a couple more days until we can finish that one out. All right. Checking these out real quick. I don't think I have anything that I can complete right now. It'll be a little bit until I gather all my resources. We're pretty close with the crab pot bundle. I just need a crab for that one. Fish wise. Yeah, I still have a little bit more uh, fishing to do. I don't think I can get a sturgeon just yet. Maybe another season before we knock any of that out. Just the crab pot. These guys are so cute. Bye guys, I'll be back. Head back down to the town square. Pierre's is still open. Gonna pick up a few things. Oh, hey girl. Fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. I wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. Well, it's not raining yet. But you know me, I sure wish it was. Never have to touch my watering can again. <laughs> All right, what do we need? I think I was gonna pick up uh, 40 potatoes. If possible, I like to keep my crops rotating so I don't have to keep redigging and retilling the soils if I don't have to. I don't like wasting my energy on it. So those will be ready to be picked just before we plant our strawberries. Oh, and that's the tree we want there, but it's gonna be a little bit until I can afford that. Don't need to waste my money on it just yet. Mm, what else? I think that's it for now. And keep our money just for if there's anything that I might need right now. Save it up for upgrading a tool. All right, before we dig into all of this, I want to check if we have any spring onions. I don't want to overexert myself too much because we do have quite a bit of things to plant, but I don't want to overdo it on the energy over the next couple of days because I don't really have any sprinklers or much food to eat. But if we get some spring onions, that would be wonderful. I really should have checked this earlier when we were down with the wizard, but oh well. Sweet, we got quite a few here. Five, six, seven, 14, 15, and none down here yet. That's okay. All right, let's get to it. Luckily, we used a little bit of energy before we went and visited the wizard. So whatever was in that weird green concoction he gave us, gave us about 38 energy back. All right, potato seeds take six days, spring seeds take seven days. So those should be all ready to harvest by uh, the 13th which is the egg festival, which is when we get our strawberry seeds. I love that you can actually put fertilizer on a plant after you've planted the seeds. It's great. I want a gold cauliflower if I can for the luau's in the summer just because it usually helps a lot with the uh, friendship. It's really going to take most of our energy for a couple days just watering these plants, unless we're lucky and we get some rain. It's going to be pretty rough, so I'm going to look into getting some more acorn, maples, and pine cones, and just more seeds in general, so I might actually have to go shake some trees down tomorrow. But tomorrow's going to be a day where we're mostly going to be focusing on chopping down trees anyway, so I think we'll be okay. We'll go ahead and make a few field snacks anyways, just so that we're ready in the morning. Field snacks are good for energy in the early game, but I wouldn't depend on them too much later on because those seeds are actually worth more because eventually you're going to need more wood than we are going to need energy. 
it's important to keep it sustainable and replant your trees. What else do I need? Hmm, watering can. All right, everything's set up for in the morning. For a busy day, it's not too late. We're just really low on energy. So we'll shake down a few trees, see if they have any seeds to give us. Any tasks that don't take up any energy. Ugh, nothing. It looks like I'm not getting any more seeds today. Bummer town. Alright, let's go ahead and head to bed. Good night, dog meat. Sweet dreams. No level ups, and we didn't sell anything either. Alright, so today it is Sunday. Yay! Let's see what the weather's gonna be like tomorrow. Another bright, sunny day. Come on, give me some rain. Give me a break from watering my cops. Hopefully we at least have some good fortune. Ah, the red skull. Great. Not that we're going to the mines or anything. Oh well. All right, queen of the sauce. And the queen of the sauce recipe is stir fry. Nice. It's going to be a while till we can get that kitchen, but I'm still collecting the recipes for when we do. I wonder what today has in store for us. Oh, looks like we have some potatoes to pick. Nice. One potato, two potato. If I really want to, I can plant a few more seeds in these, but they would have to be something that grows for six days if I want to save the space for uh, the strawberries. And we'll save one potato for a bundle. Grab a parsnip because I'm going to need that today. It looks like dog meat is having a grand old time down there. All right, I'm just going to sell these extra potatoes here. Probably could eat them for energy, but I like money. Much like Mr. Krabs. All right, we're gonna go ahead and head back to the town square and see if we can track down our guy. Today is mostly just gonna be cleaning up around the farm because I wanna collect some wood, start working on collecting enough of that and stone for getting our coop. Oh, looks like we have some wriggle worms and dandelion over here. Pick that up real quick. All right, Wriggle Worm Dig Spot, what you got for me? Ooh, rice shoots, nice. That's one of the new crops. And we can plant it in spring. And even better, I'm not gonna have to water it. Ugh, great. We should probably plant those today. Check out that calendar. That is Lewis's birthday, which is why we're here today. Anything in the trash? Oh, an acorn, we need those. And, oh, I wanted to look in that trash too. Oh, look, it's a caramel top toadstool. Let's say hey first. 20 years, huh? No one ever runs against me, hmm. Or no one wants to deal with the problems that you left over. Anyways, happy birthday. You're welcome. All right. I mean, I can check his trash, but eh, I don't want to make him upset today. And I haven't said hello to you yet today. Got a couple more cans this way. Nothing and nothing. All right, let's grab a couple more seeds. Oh, it's a Jody. Hashtag housewife problems. Who all is here today? Oh, it's George Crazy Eyes. That's right, it's Sunday. All right, gonna sell these extra bits. And get five potato seeds, because that's how many empty plots I have right now.
Why wasn't I invited to the crazy hair convention? Well, let's go ahead and say hey to George. Yes, you are old. Old, sweet old man. A little cranky sometimes. Who all do we have to meet anyways? Oh, can't go in there. Gus. Oh, I haven't met Harvey yet. We'll get to that. I don't know if Caroline even comes out of her room on Sundays. I wouldn't if a bunch of people were in my house. All right, we'll go ahead and hop in Doc's shack and say hey to Harvey. I'm struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. Guess it could try to get patience from the neighboring towns. I'd refrain from divulging too much uh, financial information with strangers, Harvey. Nice to meet you anyways. All right, let's plant our seeds. Oh wait, no, first I'm gonna go uh, check and see if we have any spring onions to help us for the rest of the day because we're already really low on energy. Our luck isn't that great, so it's very possible that we're not going to have very many at all. But we really need to dig in and clear out our farm, so we might as well just grab what we can. Oh, hey, Leah. If you hear any banging from inside of my hut, it's probably just me working on one of my sculptures. Nice cover for a serial killer. Not that she is one, just, just saying. Oh, and we do have a couple of spring onions. Definitely worth the trip. And some wriggle worms. Nice. We'll save that for Gunther for later. Actually, quite a bit for how bad our luck is today. Not complaining at all. Oh, and a horseradish over here, too. That's going to help us out. Actually, does luck actually determine how many forge will show up? Or does it just determine uh, what quality you get? I don't know. I might have to Google that later. In any case, I'm happy to have them either way. Before we head up to the farm, let's do a swoop around in the woods or the forest or whatever. This place with all the trees. See if we have anything else that's going to help. And it's Sunday, which means it is another traveling merchant day. Maybe we can get a step ahead on something. Otherwise, we'll just save our money for later. We do need green beans, but I have some growing, so I don't need those right now. I already have a sunfish. We'll need a pufferfish, but not at the moment. It's not a pressing issue. Nope, looks like we're just window shopping today. Thanks, though. All right, let's head on up and do some clearing. First things first, let's get these rice shoots into the ground. And we don't even have to water it. Finish up with these potato seeds. Oh, I need some leeks so I can make some seeds to sell. We'll get to that. And it's time to get my lumberjack on and get rid of some of these trees and stumps. Make a little bit of room. Just kind of clean things up a little bit because it is a mess. And this part of the Four Corners Farm is actually uh, the forest part where more trees will grow, a few stumps and things like that. I'll probably keep a steady flow of seeds in the ground later so that I always have some extra trees to chop down. All right, that's enough of that. Let's head out to this corner because we do have uh, some copper nodes down below. I really want to dig into, get a little extra copper, and start working on some blacksmithing. Gonna make clearing out the farm a lot easier once we start upgrading our tools. And since I have a few extra wild seeds, I might as well plant those here too. Doing just a little bit of light organizing. If I have time the night before, I like to always be prepared for the morning so I don't have to waste time in the morning. Everything's looking good down here. All right, off to bed. Ah, oh, my good old puppy sleeping by the fire. Let's check our stats. No level ups, and I didn't sell anything. I think I can squeeze one more day in this episode. All right, what's the weather like tomorrow? 
Come on, gimme rain. Another hard day of work tomorrow. What about my fortune? Oh, not too bad, a golden pyramid. I will take it. And for a living off the land, back at it again with another tip for y'all. <laughs> that host sounds like me. Fences. Uh, I don't want to waste my wood right now. That's okay, thanks though. Should really start checking the mail first. All right, we don't need that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and water some stuff. It's gonna take most of our energy. Oh, oh, looks like I stayed out a little too late last night. Had a slight energy penalty. Ah, that's okay. We'll deal with it. Gotta keep pushing until we can get those sprinklers and then it's gonna be pretty easy going from there. With what little energy we do have, we're gonna spend the rest of it in the mines. I'm gonna grab uh, just a couple of things for some snacks. And we'll eat the golden star horseradish because anything in the mines is honestly gonna be worth more than this horseradish anyways. And I'm gonna get started on crafting some bars from the furnace so we can Finally, upgrade some tools and make our lives just a little bit easier. I don't think I need anything else from here. Nah. Can smelt this quartz though. I'm gonna be using the entrance level of the mine sort of as my blacksmith area for right now. Just so I can make the most of my time and make some bars while I'm down exploring. Get a little bit of energy going. Oh, it's gonna be a rough one. But I don't feel it too pressing to get all the way down in the mines right now. Although some people might argue with that. For me, I'm just about collecting some copper and getting a couple of tasks done, getting some good resources. These leaks are gonna be pretty helpful for making some seeds so that we can sell those for a little extra cash money. Oh, another one up here too. I used to just use these as gifts to give Linus, but, but early game Wickedy is a greedy gal. So we're just gonna gift him with our presents. The crisp air of the wilderness is all that I care to know. I live out here by choice. Okay, you do you boo. All right, let's stop outside for a quick snack break and hopefully we get enough algae down in the mines that I can survive. It's always good to have a couple extra things on you so that you don't die. Hmm, let's see, what did I leave in my box? I totally forgot. Oh, I totally forgot my coal. Well, we'll probably find some down on the minecart level, so then we can make some copper bars. Grab a little bit of stuff for energy. I wanna save those leaks. And, all right, I think we're okay. Looking good. Really love a better sword. Hmm. Let's see how far we get down in the mines today. Being that we don't really have a whole ton of energy or a lot of items to kind of give us more energy in the mines, I'm going to try and take out the enemies that I can and hopefully some of them will give us a ladder. Oh, there's always gonna be some coal in a minecart at the end of the tracks on levels like this, unless you've been to the floor already and already collected it. So even though there's a ladder right at the front at the entrance, I definitely think it's worth hitting to the end. And I'm also working on collecting all the ore nodes that I can, anything that's going to be giving us coal, smashing some boxes and taking out slimes for the Adventurers Guild. I haven't hit level two of mining yet, so I can't even make any ladders to skip this floor. 
Uh, three more slimes left for the initiation. All right, where's that ladder? I gotta at least get to level 15 today. Oh, Topaz gem node. I'm not seeing a whole lot of ores, so let's just find that ladder and get out of here. But not before we take out this line here first. That's the last one that we're gonna need. And yes, that's right. Initiation is over and we can go into the Adventures Guild now. Oh, perfect. Level 15 gives us an elevator. I got a little bit of coal, which means that I can make a copper bar. If we're lucky, any of these rock crabs will give us a crab for our crab pot bundle, and then that'll be another bundle that we can finish. And no crabs for us tonight. Gonna have to eat onions again. Try to always make it down at least five levels in the mines at a time so that you have access to the elevator and you don't lose any progress. We made it, level 20. That's great, that's great. Let's get this and get the heck out of here. New sword, thank goodness. Getting tired of beating people up with a rusty sword. All right, it is getting late and I don't want too much of an energy penalty tomorrow. Looking over all this, it's not the best we could do, but we have a lot of crops to plant, so it's the best we can do with the energy that I do have. What all am I gonna take with me? Hmm, let's see, our gems. Uh, this amethyst I'll probably give to Emily so we can start working on our relationship with her. I'll sell all those extra sneakers and swords and stuff now that we have access to the Ventures Guild. And those leeks to make some seeds. Hmm. Make one more copper bar before we head out. And now it's the mad dash to get back home in time before we pass out because I have too much money and too many goodies that I just can't afford to lose right now. And I hate falling asleep with too much stuff in my pockets. What else can I do before bed? Oh, that's right. I could probably make some seeds real quick too. Just so I feel like I'm making at least a little bit of progress. I like to actually see that I'm making some money day by day. You do make more money by selling the seeds than by selling the forageables. Unless it's worth it more to keep it for energy. Sometimes it is. It just depends. I was going to save these for a fish pond, but I think that's a little too far out right now. So I'll probably just eat it. And watering can for in the morning. Hopefully these seeds stay in their packets, otherwise Lewis is going to have to clean up a little bit of a mess. Shh, dog me sleeping. Oh, I didn't give you love yet today? Oh, I'm a monster. Sorry, dog meat. Oh, what a day. Oh, nice. We leveled up in combat so we can make a sturdy ring. I don't know if I have all this stuff for that just yet. Oh, and level two in mining so we can finally make staircases for if we get trapped on any like infested levels or something like that. And I think I only sold seeds today. Yeah, that's right. Nice, not too shabby though. 700 gold, which is 35 gold per seed. All in all, I think that was a pretty productive first week. I mean, we could have made a lot more money and made a lot more progress in the mines, but 
come the 13th of spring, once we get access to those strawberry seeds, we're going to be raking in so much gold that we'll be pretty okay. The next few days are going to be much of the same, watering crops and hitting the mines when we have the energy for it, and making a little bit of cash, making some bars so we can upgrade our tools and all that good stuff. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Chickadee Farm. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. I'm Wickedy. Thank you so much for hanging out in the valley with me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!